Anderson power poles are a great way to reliably connect high current components. They're available in 15, 30, 45, 50, 75, 175, and 350 amp versions, each with contacts available for a range of wire gauges. So be sure to specify the wire gauge when you purchase them. We also have many colors available for the smaller size housing. For the smaller contacts, crimp the contact onto your wire. You can use our tri-crimp tool, which is made specifically for use with power pole contacts. Simply insert your stripped wire into the opening on the contact, place the contact into the crimp tool, and squeeze the handle until the ratchet releases. For contacts larger than 45 amps, I would recommend using a small butane torch to solder them. Slide the contact with wire attached into the housing until you hear a click as the lip on the contact snaps over the end of the spring. For smaller gauge wires, you may need to use a flathead screwdriver or punch to push the contact into the housing. To make a connection, simply slide the two power poles together. To detach, pull them apart. You can also connect groups of power poles into blocks using the features on the sides of the connectors. These blocks can be connected together just like a single connector. Removing a contact from the housing can be fairly challenging. It helps to have a small flathead screwdriver. The trick is that the spring is slightly wider than the contact. Press down on the spring until it clears the lip on the underside of the contact, then slide the contact out. For the smaller contacts, it may be easier to lift up on the front edge of the contact to get it over the spring. Every power pole set comes with a roll pin to keep your connectors from getting misaligned if you're connecting more than one at a time. 